presentation was Chris Rashka. He was born in Huntington, Pennsylvania on March 6, 1959, but grew up in suburban Chicago, Illinois. Rashka graduated from St. Olaf College with a degree in biology, and then he went to Germany for one year as an intern and worked at an orthopedic children's clinic. Rashka came back and was planning to attend medical school to study medicine, but once he returned, he realized that he didn't want to do this anymore, so on the day of registration, he decided, I'm not going to go to medical school. So he decided to follow his dream and become an artist, which he was inspired by the children he was working with in Germany. Rashka has been awarded many times throughout his career. In 1994, he won a Calicot honor. In 2006, he won a Caldecott medal, and in 2012, he also won a Caldecott medal. The book I'm going to be talking about is titled The Hello Goodbye Window, which was the 2006 Caldecott winner by Chris Rochka. In this book, he uses sunlit watercolor, charcoal pencil, and um, pastel crayons. He is a very impressionistic artist because the things he draws are not well-defined and they look very child or dreamlike. So the first page in the Hello Goodbye window I would like to share shows lines for the emotion of the characters. And you can see here that the characters, the lines on their faces help us to see which emotions and the ways the people are feeling. Like for instance, the picture of the man on the bottom shows that he is very happy. page shows very well composition of um, Chris Rochka's work. The painting is very dark and the picture is very dark so the words are white which is a very nice composition element. Here you can see the stars that look like asterisks which are very childlike because chi children could draw asterisks to represent stars because it's easier for them to draw. And also, another point I'd like to make on this page is that in this window, it is very lightly colored because Rashka wants people to be drawn to this window to show that the people in the window are looking out at the sky. This picture is also good with the composition because there's white space around these characters to draw our eyes to these characters. So we want to know what are these characters doing and how do they follow with the story? So the whiteness around the page, around the picture draws your eyes to this point while there's color all the way around it. This is probably my favorite picture in the book right here is a depiction of a bedroom. And this bedroom is um, very impressionistic because it's very childlike. It's something very much that a child would draw to show a scene of their bedroom. Here you can see the bed, the dresser, a painting on the wall, the window, the carpet with a rug, and it's very, very childlike. And that's why I really like the way that it all comes together. And you can see with the lines on the eyes that the child is sleeping. And lastly, this page shows shapes. Here you can see the triangles on the fingers, the half circle to represent the food, the oval to represent the lady's face, the square to represent her coffee mug, and you can just really see the shapes throughout his pictures. And I really enjoy this book and hope you'll all take a chance to read it.